Hi, welcome to another video. So, I have been covering jewels for a while now. Ever since it was teased with the Gemini 2.0 flash, to the launch with the 2.5 Pro model, and then new upgrades, and I honestly love it. I think that if we keep the model capability aside, it is one of the best remote coding agents out there. Even better than Codex and others, at least in terms of UI and experience. I use it a lot, and that's why I cover its upgrades as well. They recently did another Jewels Week, where they launched a ton of stuff, and I wanted to talk about that. To start, if you use Jewels and delegate tasks to it directly from issues, then you can also now integrate it with pull requests. In pull requests, if you integrate Jewels into your workspace, it now allows you to give Jewels any issue to fix in that pull request branch and get it fixed while updating the pull request accordingly, which is a really great option. Apart from this, you can also now tell Jules exactly what file to work on using the file selector. They say that you can now tell Jules exactly which files to work with for any given task. Use the new file selector to easily and precisely reference specific files. This removes ambiguity and gives you more granular control over Jules's actions, helping to tighten the context for your task. This is great as well for targeting specific changes. After this, they integrated memory as well. They say that they're excited to introduce a new memory feature. Jules now has the ability to learn from your interactions, how it works. During a task, Jules will save your preferences, nudges, and corrections. The benefit. The next time you run the same or a similar task in that specific repository, Jules will reference its memory to better anticipate your needs and follow your established patterns, leading to more accurate results with less guidance. Settings. You can toggle memory on or off for the repo on the repo settings page under Knowledge. Basically, it is something similar to how things like Byte Rover or Super Memory work, where the agent can perform a tool call to save memory when it thinks it's needed, and then reference it any time later. It's pretty great, but can also be somewhat finicky at times, especially if not implemented correctly. One great thing about it is that you can view the memories, delete them, and manage stuff like that as well. But then we got one of the best updates with it, the Jules command line. They say, We're launching Jules Tools, a new command line interface designed to give you direct control over your AI coding agent, making it scriptable, customizable, and easy to integrate into your existing workflows. Direct control, create tasks, Jules Remote New, list active sessions, Jules Remote List, and monitor Jules without leaving your command line. Apply patches. Locally, instantly pull work-in-progress code from an active Jules session and apply it to your local machine. This lets you test changes immediately without waiting for a commit to GitHub. Scriptable and composable. Integrate Jules into your automations by piping in output from other tools like GH, JQ, or CAT. Interactive Dashboard For a more guided experience, launch the built-in Terminal User Interface, TUI, to create and manage tasks step-by-step. -step. You can install it quite easily as well, with a very simple command. Now, let's look at the features one by one. But before proceeding, let me tell you about Ninja Chat. Ninja Chat is an all-in-one AI platform where, for just $11 per month, you get access to top AI models like GPT-40, Claude 4 Sonnet, and Gemini 2.5 Pro. All in one place. I've been using Gemini for quick research, but what's really cool is their AI playground where you can compare responses from different models side by side. Their mind map generator is a game changer for organizing complex ideas as well. The basic plan gives you 1,000 messages, 30 images, and 5 videos monthly, with higher tiers available 
if you need more. Use my code KING25 for 25% off any plan or KING40 yearly for 40% off annual subscriptions. Check the link in description to try it yourself. Now, back to the video. To start, you can now mention jewels in pull requests. By default, it will register for all comments on any pull request. And if a change is requested in that comment, then it will do that. I think this is mainly for the pull requests that Jules makes from a task you give. You can change this behavior by going to the settings and enabling the option for it to only respond to comments that mention it Jules. I find this a bit weird because Jules is actually someone's GitHub ID, and when you mention it, Jules captures it without any problem. But when you click the Jules tag, it takes you to that person's ID which feels very odd, so this surely needs a fix. Anyway, you can also now mention exact files in the Jules prompt box. Here, you can hit the attach option and then select an exact file or folder and use it accordingly, which is kind of cool as well. Apart from this, there are now memory options too. So, Jules can now create memories during a task, and it will tell you how many memories it has made. You can see these memories by navigating to your code bases, then going to the Knowledge tab, where you'll find all the memories created by it. It's really great that you can remove any memory if you want, or create new ones there as well, which is awesome. You can also edit the memories slightly, if that's something you'd like to do. You can also turn off the Memories option for the whole repo if you don't want to use it. After this comes the Jules CLI, so you can start the Jules CLI with the Jules command, and then you'll see all this stuff. Here, you can see all the tasks in Jules that you have done before, along with the status of each task. Similarly, you can click on a task to open its page in the browser, or you can easily clone the code with the changes to your local machine, which is quite a good option. You can also run the slash new command to create a new task directly from your CLI and delegate it to the online coding agent. It's pretty great. That's majorly about it. They have also launched the API for Jules, allowing you to integrate it into almost anything because the API is very easy to use and super simple as well. It feels like a proper product rather than something like Codex which seems to never get proper updates. But this one is pretty crazy for sure. Overall, it's pretty cool. Anyway, share your thoughts below and subscribe to the channel. You can also donate via Super Thanks option or join the channel as well and get some perks. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.